Hi, my name is Joseph, and so today we are ministering to 10 people, me and Amy, and I just sat down to edit the video, and then I realized Amy had her mic volume off. <laughs> so what happens, every time when she speaks, I have to take the mic on, uh, the volume on this mic, and just bring it all the way up, just so that you can hear. <laughs> but unfortunately, I sat here, and I softly pray in tongues, as I was listening to the Lord, so you're going to hear me pray in tongues in the background. So I just apologize for that, uh, but at least you can still hear Amy speak. Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy. And so today I want to take some time to uh, bless some of the people that often come on Unity with Heaven and also support me. So usually uh, it's a lot of people that put their names on. I don't know who they are, uh, but uh, I always... Uh, pray and ask the Lord for a word and I minister uh, as much and as, as good as I can. Uh, but the ones that on this list are very special people in my life uh, because they are the ones that have blessed me, they have helped me and uh, even uh, through this last month I went through a very difficult time also uh, with my personal health uh, and all of you have been such a big blessing to me and so that's why I just wanted to make a special video today where I say okay I'm not going to just minister to any name that's on any list I want to specifically minister to these ones uh, because all of you and these other people also but these ones have been such a blessing to me in my life okay so uh, the first person um, uh, is Angela Parker and I thought I'll ask Amy to to just share a, a prophetic word to Angela and then Angela I'll I'll pray for you Okay, awesome. Angela, while praying for you, I just saw your eyes and they were like glittering and sparkling. It's like so um, clear and lit up. And I just feel the Lord says that He's blessing your vision, your eyesight. And I just feel the Lord says, Angela, you will see my face and feel my love. I just see how your eyes are so fixed on God and that shines through you. And I just feel the Lord says, more than ever, I'm pulling you closer to my presence and I'm giving you so much vision. Angela, God loves you so much. God bless you. All right. So Angela, I saw a new kitchen in your house. You know how the carpenters come, they take out the old kitchen, they take out the old backsplash, put in a new oven, uh, the new kitchen, uh, the new backsplash, and everything just looks new. Uh, and, I, and that's the picture what the Lord showed me. And I believe that the Lord says lots of things in your life is going to become new. It's not only the kitchen, it's also things spiritually, but also things in a natural. And so I just want to reach out my hand to you. And Lord, I just come in the name of Jesus and I just speak a blessing of multiplication on Angela's life. And Lord, I call in those new things to come into her life in the name of Jesus. This next word is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I just feel God has placed new music in your household, um, in your room, in your heart, and God is really singing songs over you. And I just feel there's just a new level of worship God is taking you in. And I just feel how the Lord is really pouring out His anointing, just like Samuel poured out um, oil over David's head. God is pouring oil over your head, and He's giving you that kingly anointing, that royalty anointing, and to reach so many people. So I just feel the Lord's says i'm pouring out my anointing and i'm giving you new music and new songs that i'm singing over you that will be with you god loves you elizabeth Jose. elizabeth uh, god bless you uh, so um one of my friends um that i need from america um they have airplanes uh, they got probably about four or five airplanes uh, and what happened they got a piece of land uh, that they bought it was just next door to them that had a a, a tar road on it it was it used to be a big highway but then they moved the highway so there was a highway on this piece of land but it's not used and so they bought that piece of land for a very little amount of money but then they had this beautiful runway for all the airplanes to take off uh, and it was just such a amazing miracle because they said to the lord how on earth well, are we gonna you know from the farm fly with our airplanes and i got this piece of land and what the Lord is showing to me is that he's going to give to Christopher and to Elizabeth a, a piece of land like that. It's going to be a property. It's going to be some kind of assets, uh, some kind of opportunity that is going to be like a runway for you to be able to do your ministry and to do your business. And the Lord is going to put tremendous favor on you as a family. 
Amen. Wow. This next word is for Anthony. Anthony, I see how you're rock climbing and how God supplies a rope and all the equipment that you need. Um, you know, like how people have like those sticks um, to help them walk up um, high, difficult places. And I just feel the Lord says, I am re-equipping you. I'm taking away the old equipment and I'm giving you new equipment. And I just feel the Lord says, you are worthy. You are my son. I love you. And I just feel the Lord says, I've called you to be a vessel to speak life over families and unity over families I've called you to bring the my um, to speak um, uh, share my father's heart there's just a fatherly heart that God has placed in you and I just feel like you are really going to minister to a lot of people that have like an, that feel like like they like they 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 alone and they have like that orphan of spirit and I just feel how that love will overflow in your life. God loves you so much, Anthony, and I really feel God has really called you to reach the next generation to be a really a, a beacon and a leader to so many people. God bless you. Hey, Anthony. Um, so uh, I'm praying about it, and I get a name for a year. So the Lord gave me the year of the mouth. Now, I know all these prophetic people, they always take the, the Jewish year numbers and then they always come up with all of these beautiful explanations of uh, what this year means and what it is and all of that. And, and I, I have no idea if this even fits in with any of that or not. But the Lord gave me this word, the year of the mouth, for you specifically. And I saw how the Lord heals your throat and how He gives you a mouthpiece and how you speak and how you declare and I just see airwaves uh, going away from you and I just felt that the Lord says that you had a seat of influence and the Lord is going to give that seat of influence back to you God bless you, Anthony. Amen. Wow. This next word is for Lisa. Lisa, I saw how you were horse riding and how you had your, your um, hands on the reins, but it was like you were pulling um, and that bit was, you know, the bit over the horse's mouth was really pulling the horse back um, for a stop. And I just felt how the Lord says that there's a lot of things that you were trying to control for the longest time and that you were pulling back and it was hurting you. And I just feel how the Lord says, give me the reins. Um, I'm calling you to to um, to let go and let and and you will not fall. I just feel that's a promise God is giving you because there's like a fear of falling. And I just feel the Lord says I am with you. I actually had this one experience when I was horse. I've never fallen off a horse. I've I've ridden through a tree once, but I've never fallen off. But there was this one time in my life I almost fell, and and it was like I can't just um, if I could describe it. It literally felt like a hand caught me on my side, and I didn't fall. I, it was just it just felt so amazing. I think I was like 13 and I just feel how the Lord has his hand on you and the Lord says you will not fall and I just feel God has called you to be a forerunner so do not hold back and then lastly I just feel how God is really like pouring out his um, glory over you it's like if I can describe it like gold dust and I just feel that you will like carry that with you wherever you go it will without gold dust will be there God loves you God bless you so Lisa, the Lord gave me this word, independently blessed. And I felt that the Lord says that all the times there were strings attached to each blessing in your life. But the Lord is putting his covering and his blessing upon you and there's no strings attached to it. And so uh, if there's death in your life, I feel the Lord is cancelling it. Uh, if there's a control that someone is exercising over your life, I see the Lord is cancelling that. And how the Lord is just uh, blessing you and you're, blessing, you're blessed by yourself. You, you're not blessed because of this or that person or this relationship or you have to dance to someone's tune and then you're blessed i just see independently blessed and i and i actually see how the lord is cutting off um uh, toxic relationships even if there's um legal issues that you're battling with uh, or or i don't know what is causing these toxic um uh, 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 connections to you but i just see how the lord is just coming with his bolt cutter and he's cutting all of them off and you stand there and you just happy and independently blessed Amen. This next word is for John. John, I just see how you are on your knees worshiping the Lord. And I, I feel that 
um, as you worship, God is giving you strategies, blueprints, ideas. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you life changing ideas. It's not only going to change your life, but change your family's lives and, and a lot of people around you. I just feel there's a heavenly calling upon your life to bring heaven to earth. And I just feel the Lord says, it doesn't matter if some people don't understand it. I've given you vision and the right people that are called to be in your life in this season will come. God is sending out people that's going to help you and it's like if I could describe it it's like the way God prepared Joseph so that he could be ready to um, prophesy over Pharaoh uh, um, and then talk, talk about the solution of how they can help the seven years of famine um, and God really puts him through that whole process to prepare him now I just feel the Lord says just like God Joseph had the tools and the strategy that he needed for the situation I just feel the Lord says I've given you the tools and strategy that you need for the situation Situation. And I just feel the Lord says that you are going to bring a lot of um, God has sent you and put you in that place to bring a lot of um, breakthrough for that area. So I just feel the Lord says that is your calling. You're going to bring breakthrough to that area. God loves you. Okay, John, so the Lord give me this word, the keys to the vault. Uh, now, remember, uh, we sometimes uh, we not any much anymore as much, but uh, we used to watch that uh, TV show. Everybody loves Raymond. Hey. Anyway, and so there is a show there where he says now he was explaining to his one friend how to, to write the article and he was giving him the, the keys to the vault. Uh, and, and what the Lord was uh, talking to me about when I was praying now, he was reminding me about that episode, how the Lord is giving you the keys to the vault. And he's giving you the strategy that you need so that you can have that breakthrough, that you can have that opportunity, that you can go to the next level. And so that's what the Lord shows me. And I just want to declare it over you. Father, I just declare in the name of Jesus, uh, that you release strategy and the keys to the vault to John in the name of Jesus. Wow. Hey Amen. This next word is for Ari. Ari, God loves you. And I, I just feel how, um, you know, Psalms, I just feel Psalms 91. It's one of my favorite chapters. And I just feel the Lord is really covering you with his wings of protection and he's healing you. And I just see how you're in a place of freedom and you're dancing in his presence. And I just feel the Lord is really bringing so much comfort and healing to your heart um, in this time. And I just feel how the Lord is giving you like that Esther anointing for such a time as this. And I just really feel how the Lord says it is time um, for you. And I, and, I, and I just see how you go out and God gives you the courage that you need to speak those words and to do what you have to do for your calling. Uh, I just feel that this year, and, and I know we're already like in September, but I just feel how the Lord is really giving you such a calling for this year. And the Lord says... Um, don't be afraid about time running out or it's too late. I just feel there's still, there's so much that God has for you still um, and that he's so excited for you for. And I just feel the Lord says, just lean on me. And also the plans that God has for you in 2025, I just see... Um, how you've planted all these trees and how all of a sudden it's like this orchard that's just blossoming and you're going to get a harvest and God is going to give you the wisdom of which apples to take and which apples are, are not ready yet. So I just feel God's giving me a lot of wisdom and a har harvest is coming. God bless you. Hi Ori. Okay, so the Lord shows me people need to build a channel to transfer water. Okay, and so now they need to, to build a channel and the 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 shortest route or the correct route to, to build this channel is through your land, uh, is through your farmland. And, and then they, uh, they sign a contract and they, they allow, you allow them to build the channel through the farmland. But then in trade, you have access to the water that's running through that channel. It's like an agreement. And I just felt that the Lord says there's going to be an agreement where you're going to allow someone to use something of yours but then you're going to get a lot of benefit from that and it's almost as if you give up very little because it was not really a piece of land that you were really using but the benefit that you got was tremendous and so i just see how the lord is going to give you favor like that and so i just declare in the name of jesus the favor of god and also the health of god on you and on your family god bless you Ari. And God bless you, Ari. This next word is for Stephen. Stephen, God loves you so much. And I just feel how um, the Lord is really 
pouring out his living water over you and just like that woman by the fountain um, when Jesus said to that person that um, that my living will through my living water you shall not thirst again and I just feel that's a that's just something God has given you and a message God has placed in your heart and then I see a picture of this vine and how you are connected to God as, as a branch and I just feel the Lord is giving you a promise that you will be fruitful that you will um, develop um, grapes and I just feel how God says that it is it's time to blossom and it's, it's coming so I just feel the Lord says stay connected to me for I'm the vine and you are the branch um, and then I, I feel how the Lord is replanting you next to his river um, and, it, and it's like and it's like um, um, there's a lot of people that lean on you and, and, and receive from you and I just feel the Lord says that um, I am your source and you shall overflow so I just feel the Lord says just receive from me so that I can fill you up again God loves you so much God bless you Hi Stephen so the word gave me a motivated young and wisdom now those three words are all amazing but you don't usually get them together because usually as an older person it's uh, more motivated and has more wisdom and it's usually the younger people that you struggle to get them to be motivated in life and to and they do funny things because they don't have wisdom in their lives uh, but i feel that the lord says he's giving you youth and the bible talks there that the lord also restores youth to us but he doesn't only give you youth he also gives you wisdom and he gives you motivation and i see uh, a fire and coals and how the lord is fanning uh, the flames and how you have so much passion for what you do and for your work and for your business and for you for for the the call of god upon your life um and so I, i'm just gonna speak a word of that 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 uh, blessing of god lord i i fan now in the name of jesus the flames uh, in stephen's life in the name of jesus and lord thank you for that passion of god that wisdom of god that's uh, uh, rising up in him and also that the youth in him is renewed in the name of jesus Amen. This next word is for Josh. Josh, I just feel how it, it, the picture God showed me for you was how you were like in this boat, and it and it was like it, it wasn't going anywhere. And I feel like you're the type of person if the boat's not going anywhere, and then you're like, okay, give me some oars so I can start moving it, or like just like to get a, a motor or something. I'll make it myself. But I just feel the Lord says, open up the sails uh, through my Holy Spirit. I will give you the wind and the momentum that you need. So I just feel the Lord says that to get the momentum it's not going to be from your own strength i just feel the lord says i'm setting up my holy spirit so just keep your um keep keep it op uh, um keep the um Oh, what, what do you call it? Um, the, the, the sails. The sails, yes, the sails open. And then Josh, <laughs> <laughs> and then Josh, um, I, I just feel how the Lord has really placed the fire in your heart. And I just feel there's really an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, but also specifically that um, th there's a lot of... Um, a lot of things that have been pulling you down and I just feel God is bringing a lightness and a freedom to your heart and God says um, I am blessing you with joy and freedom and I'm blessing you with so much confidence in where you're going I just feel God is really with you God loves you Josh hi Josh um, so the Lord shows me that you've always been one to listen to mentors and people that speak into your life you're always open uh, but that you didn't always have a good mentor in your life to take you to the next level. It's as if you've used up the wisdom that they could give you. But now the Lord shows me He's going to give you a mentor that's going to be 10 times of what you even think you are and what you aim to be. And so the Lord is really going to bring you into, um, it's almost like a King Solomon a uh, person that had the wisdom of God that the Lord is going to give to you in your life uh, and you're going to be mentored so that you can grow uh, to the full extent and and I and I see this um, uh, redwood tree but it's small uh, and you know those redwood trees grows massively big they I mean they, they're just tremendous and I see how the Lord says you're going to grow like a redwood tree and so I just declare over your life uh, the 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 growth uh, and also that divine connection with that mentor in your life in the name of Jesus.
Amen. This next word is for Christina. Christina, God loves you so much. You are the apple of God's eye. And I just feel how the Lord is embracing you and loving you and pulling you closer to his presence. And I just feel how the Lord is filling you up with this love. Um, Christina, I, I just see there's an anointing of worship on your life. And, and it's like you're holding this banner of his love and glory. And then I just feel um, how how you were speaking with a microphone but it's like the more you talked and then it's like you pulled the mic away and i just feel the lord is giving you the boldness to hold on to that mic so you can project your words because obviously when when the mic is far away then the voice will come thin um but when the mic is close and then it's going some more full and bassier and I, I just feel how god has really called you to hold that with courage and to speak because god has placed a message in your heart that's really going to heal a lot of people i just feel the Lord says healing, unity, but also understanding, um, especially when it comes to technology and how we use time, our time. And, and I just feel the Lord says, I'm, I'm calling you to speak my understanding over my people. And, and I just feel God is giving you, um, just giving you that wisdom, of understanding of how to use technology to um, as a tool and not to control us. Because we, we, we oh, this generation is really... Um, we've really given so much time to that and I just feel how God is calling you to pull people into his presence again God loves you so, Christina the Lord shows me rest and tranquility and I see how the Lord pours out his oil on you and how he even just um, softens your muscles and he helps you to relax and get all of that tension out and how you uh, uh, put your anchor in him instead of putting your anchor on a moving world that's unstable and so uh, the lord is just bringing rest in you and uh, maybe in your heart there's a desire to say but i want to go uh, on a holiday and i want to rest but i felt that the lord says yes you will go on a holiday but you will rest already now because you are stepping into into his rest and, and the lord i just uh, pray for uh, christina in the name of jesus lord that you'll give her the wisdom how to uh, let go uh, and come under that Lordship of Jesus so that she can sit in the rest of God and she can sit in that seat of government that you have given to her in her life. Lord, I, I speak the authority of God upon her life in the name of Jesus. Uh, this next word is for Jazz. Jazz, I see how you are standing on the rock and I just feel how um, you, the Lord has called you to be in a stable place and even in the shaking. I just see how you're standing on the rock. And then um, Jazz, I just feel God has, has called you to rest in, in Him and His presence. And God has given you a calling for youth, for young people to reach out to them, to be really an encourager and to prophesy and speak life over their lives and to teach them. Um, the, the words of Jesus and then um, Jazz I just feel the Holy Spirit is really giving you a new um, infilling with his fire with his passion and I, and I don't know if you paint or I just feel that you're very very creative and how that you are going to like make something that's really going to be so creative and vibrant that really points out to God and brings so much glory to him so Jazz I, I really feel there's such a creative um, anointing over your life God loves you God bless you I was like, Jazz, uh, I felt the Lord is giving you courage, He's giving you boldness, and He's giving you uh, the attitude of a winner. He's giving you a heavenly attitude. And I know uh, Jesus in the Bible, it says there that He rides on His white horse, and He wears a crown, uh, and He has that the mantle on Him, uh, uh, and, and He's got the sash of gold. And I just see how the Lord is putting those same things on you. And he says, you are a prince in the kingdom of God. And I'm putting my crown on you. And I'm giving you my boldness. And I'm giving you a heavenly attitude. So that you can be an overcomer. All right. God bless you, Jazz. As I, so family, uh, thank you very much. It was uh, a blessing for me and Amy to be able to minister. Uh, all 10 of you whose names were on here are movers and shakers. And you make a difference in the kingdom of God. And I just want to bless each one of you. And so family, uh, if you have listened to this, 
uh, and your name was not on the list, just write your name in the comments. And in uh, the coming days, I I'm going to prophesy every day to 10 people. And then you can just write your name in the comments. And I would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. If you want to bless me, uh, make sure that you subscribe, that you write a comment, that you like. Uh, you can even click on the PayPal button and you can give something. Uh, if you feel you want to give, uh, I love and appreciate each one of you. God bless you.